Hi everybody, today we're going to be making one of the most exciting projects that I've ever made on this channel. We're going to be making a plywood dolly. I know, it's not that exciting, but I really need one of these and if I do, I'm betting that some other people might too. I'm going to start by gluing up these two pieces of plywood. Uh, they're about four and a half inches wide. Rather than clamping them, I'm just going to use some screws because those screws are not going to be visible when this is finished. I let this piece dry overnight. Now I'm going to trim it down to four and a half inches. I'm also ripping two additional pieces here down to six inches. I'm also going to ease the edges on these two larger panels. The idea here is that we're going to take a four and a half inch piece that's glued up and that's going to be our middle. Now we're going to take our six inch pieces and they're going to be our sides and we're going to glue them up, making sure that the rounded edge part is on top. And what you're going to end up having is you're going to have like a recess here and this is where the plywood is going to sit. Now you notice that everything's kind of messed up on the edges here. I'm going to cut these down to length after everything is glued and dried. Now it's time to trim the ends on this and I am going to be cutting it down to 24 inches. I'm marking my placement for my axle that I'm going to be installing in a little while. I'm going to be drilling a half inch hole because that is the diameter of my axle rod. I'm going to be tapering both ends of this and I'm just going to make a little uh, template so that way I can get it to look identical on both sides. The purpose of the taper is that it allows me more vertical mobility uh, when I have my board on here and I'm moving it around. Now it's time to install the wheels. I have two six inch diameter wheels here. I bought them at Harbor Freight. If you don't have a Harbor Freight, I saw the same ones on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. You're also going to need an axle. And so since the opening in the center of these wheels is a half inch, I have, I bought a, a half inch uh, rod to use for my axle, which I'm going to have to cut down. And to attach the wheels so that they don't fall off, I bought two of these axle, uh, axle nut caps. These things cost about a dollar each and all you have to do is hammer them on and they won't fall off. So uh, that would be the easiest way to do this. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please check out some of my other videos. And if you like those, please think about subscribing. I am also on Instagram. The link is down below in the description. That'll do it for this one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody is healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next one.